It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to this elementary edition of Science Bowl. Today, six young people playing our game. Let's meet them right now. First from Oakland's elementary, would you say hello to Richard Saavedra, Emmanuel Adedeji, and Abner Hernandez. And from Rockledge Elementary, here they are, Thomas Reed, Afan Cameron, and Madeline Nazelrod. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green Things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body Systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing, and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's Science Potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, our game board reflects question difficulty with the easier questions on the left, worth five and 10 points. The tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. And yet, into the two rounds, one of these two teams will come back to play Kenilworth for the chance to move on in this year's elementary school competition. Let's make sure everything works before we start. Let's check out the buzzers. Let's go to the red team. Emmanuel, try your buzzer. All right, that's the way to do it. Good luck to you, Abner and Richard. And green team, Afan, try yours. It too seems to be in good working order. Good luck to you, to Madeline, and to Thomas. Guys, congratulations. Your school's picked you to be here today. That's an honor. So everybody already won, no matter what happens today. You look good, and you're great students, so let's have a great game. We go alphabetically. So Oakland's with an O is before Rockledge with an R. So, Emmanuel, let's play the game. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, I want you to look at the monitor. There's a visual question for this first question of the game. If you look carefully, that is not a plant. That is a praying mantis. In fact, that praying mantis is trying to lure bugs to what it thinks is a flower so it can make lunch of the bug, whereas the bug is trying to visit the flower in hopes of getting what for lunch? Rockledge? Pollen? Not pollen. Good try. The bug is visiting what it thinks is a flower to eat what for lunch? Prey. What? Prey. Prey? No. Uh, nectar. The bug wants to get the nectar from the flower, and unfortunately it ends up as lunch itself because that praying mantis looks so much like an orchid itself. Okay, try uh, red again, please. Um, science poetry for 10. Science Pope Brief for 10 points. Teams, the television show Mythbusters recently, uh, listen to what I'm talking about now. The television show Mythbusters recently busted the myth that if a child eats six packets of Pop Rocks and drinks six cans of soda, that their stomach would explode. It doesn't happen because the chemical reaction does not produce enough what gas to cause that to happen. I need the name of a gas now, Rockledge. Yes, sir? Carbon dioxide? Yes, sir. Carbon dioxide. Good answer. Good. Go green. Thanks, uh, Thomas and Madeline, for your help there. Um, yes, sir. You pick. Zoo prayed for 10. Zoo prayed for 10 points. Teams, because this animal has extra vocal folds on its larynx, its voice box, this cuddly... Australian marsupial sounds like an elephant with a very deep voice. Name that animal. Rockledge? Wombat? Oh, not a wombat. Oh, that's a good try. That is an Australian marsupial. What cuddly Australian marsupial has a deep voice like an elephant because of changes in its voice box? Come on, guys. Tasmanian devil? 
Would you consider a Tasmanian devil cuddly? Oh, oh okay. The koala bear. The koala bear is the one. Okay. Those were, you guys pulled out the really obscure ones. I appreciate that. But we were going for just a little koala. Try again, green. Almost two body systems for five. Body systems for five? Body systems for five points. Teams, even though it is anatomically impossible, some women know that the quickest way to a man's heart is through what other organ? Rockledge. Stop. Stomach? Stomach. Madeline knew that one. See, she knows exactly. Make a man a good meal. You're in his, he's uh, got you in his heart. Good. Go. Green. Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points, teams. In the new Disney movie Frozen, the snowman Olaf can't understand why he can't do this, even if he puts SPF lotion all over himself. What does he want to do that he can't, Rockledge? Tan. Tan, that's right. He wants to go and sunbathe, not knowing that heat is going to melt him. Good. Go. Green. Um, how about dateline science for 10? Dateline science for 10? Dateline science for 10 points. Teams, you had to buy the case, the monitor, and the keyboard all separately back in 1976 if you bought a computer from what company? Rockledge. Apple. Apple, that's right. The first Apple computer, the Commodore. You had to buy everything separately. Boy, how different it is today. All right, let's turn out that light for the Rockledge team and let Afon pick another question. Um, science, potpourri science potpourri for 15. Science potpourri for 15 points. Teams, it was back in 1938 that two scientists at Harvard University discovered that the reason why bats don't fly into walls and can find bugs in pitch blackness is because they find these things with what system? What's it? You've got to push the buzzer, Emmanuel. You can't raise your hand. Rockledge. Echolocation. Echolocation or sonar. Exactly right. Come on, Abner. Why don't you three of you hold the buzzer at the same time so if somebody has an idea, you know to ring it because he's raising his hand over there. That doesn't work. Try again, Green. Um, let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10? Get physical for 10 points. Teams, Google recently had a science fair contest, and the winner got a lamp that was named for this molten rock that you... Lava. Rockledge. Lava. A lava lamp, that's right. The molten rock inside of a... Oh, Kenny, you guys knew that one all right. The buzzer has just rung. We've come to the end of the first round. It's been all Rockledge thus far, but Oakland's, they're going to get their strategy straight here. Rockledge 105, Oakland's 50. We'll be back in the second round in just a moment. Don't go away. Never look a howler monkey in the eye. We built the entire library out of recycled bottles. Fried ants are delicious. We finished a clinic in our, in our rainstorm. Really? That was a confidence builder. My students actually ended up teaching me. So I learned this dance. I'll show you this dance. In la keg, a la keen. The classroom was, was more of a class tent. I think managing a sales team is tough. <laughs> Try working with five different villages. My alarm clock was a rooster. Beans for breakfast, beans for lunch, beans for dinner. We ate a lot of beans. I learned a third language. My seatmate on the bus was a goat. Always include the village elders. Always. My morning commute was by canoe. After two months, I was ready to quit. But after two years, I didn't want to leave. I didn't know I had it in me. Turn two years of service into a lifetime of experience. To all the Peace Corps volunteers, past, present, and future, thank you for your service to your country and the world. With video games, I'm always choosing between what my kids want and what I think is best for them. How about this one? Which is why I love these new rating summaries. They let me know exactly what's in the game. Players shoot lasers from an arm cannon. Robot enemies explode and limbs fly off. Maybe that other one's better. Yeah. Get your free game rating summary today. And with it, the world's most powerful weapon, knowledge. I always thought being a good mother meant raising my baby myself. But when I got pregnant, I realized I wasn't ready to be a parent. So I did something I thought I could never do. I chose adoption. It was really hard. But I know my baby is with a loving family and has a very bright future. Sometimes choosing adoption is being a good mother. Visit us at ichooseadoption.org.
Welcome back to Science Bowl. Six outstanding young people here today, hoping for the chance to move on in our competition. Today's winner comes back to play Kenilworth for the chance to move on to the semifinals. And this is our 28th season. We started with 40 elementary schools. We will be down eventually to our final four. Could be one of these schools. Let's go to Oakland. Oakland has consistently been on our show for many, many years. Nice to have you guys here. We have Emmanuel and Abner, two third graders, some of the youngest contestants we've ever had. And Richard, you're a fifth grader. Is that right? Emmanuel, tell us about Oakland. Who's your principal? Our principal is Miss Briscoe. Wonderful. And I know how excited she is to have you here today. Who's the sponsor of your team? The, um, the adult, the teacher that brought you? Mr. Rourke. All right. And he's out there. And I know he's a first-time sponsor, so I know he's been working with you. Tell me, uh, did you have any alternates on your team, students who also are ready to come out? No. Just the three of you. Okay. Tell me uh, what you want to do when you get older. I want to be a um, sort of like make game consoles. Yeah, yeah, because a lot of people are into gaming right now, and I can see you being successful at that. And uh, keep up your good work here. And I've been working on him to get to push the buzzer. He's got so much excitement and energy, but we're going to get him to push that buzzer. Richard, nice to have you here. Uh, tell me what you do in your spare time. I like baking cake. Yeah. He did not bake one for us today, but we're not going to hold that <laughs> against him. But he likes to make chocolate cakes. And uh, how'd you get into baking? It was the first, it was the day when my mom, it was a weekend yeah. when my mom said, let's go somewhere. I was like, I was like, no, let's make a cake. And then I started making them and I, st I liked to do them. Yeah. And of course, once you get successful at it, and of course, you'll never want for friends if you give them those as gifts. <laughs> you know, people always love to have baked goods. What do you want to do someday, Richard? I want to be an architect. Architect, yeah. And uh, who aren't you interested in that? My aunt. Your aunt, yeah. She must be very proud of you. And you want to design buildings, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see you doing that. Abner, good to have you here. This young man is, he gets up in the morning and he loves soccer. He loves it in the morning and the evening and the, all the time, right? Yes. Yeah. Who's your favorite soccer team? Barcelona. Barcelona, yeah. I saw them on 60 Minutes. They even have a school, a soccer school. You'd be good in that. Why'd you want to be on this show? Because when I first heard about it, my t when my teacher uh, told me about it, I wanted to try it out. Yeah, well, we're glad you're here. We're hoping you have a good time. Now, now of course, you guys got to get some points, right? Yes. Second half, we're going to get out there. You guys are competitors. Let's see you compete. Rockledge, nice to have you guys here. You're all wearing those blue shirts over there. Is that part of the school uniform, Afan? No. No. no what? uniforms in Rockledge. Yeah, that's very good. All right. And you, two of you are... Safety patrols, I see. Yeah, actually, Thomas is a safety patrol, too. Oh, cool. So that bespeaks a lot of responsible behavior. So you guys, not only are you great students, but you're very responsible students over there. Tell us about Rockledge. It's in Bowie. Who's your principal? Our principal is Miss Seidel. Miss Seidel. And, uh, and she's, she's got a lot of energy. I like her. Uh, whenever we go out, and she always treats us so well. Who's the sponsor of your team? Our sponsor is Mrs. Stimson. Mrs. Stimson. And she is new, and she has been so excited to get you ready for today. And Afan, did you have any alternates? Um, we have Kennedy Wilburn and Afia Boateng. Wonderful. We'll bring them out because they're integral parts of this team here. And Afan, tell me about yourself. Tell me the Afan story. What do you want to do someday? Um, I want to become a paleontologist. Yeah. And what did you find? A fossilized fish, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Do you know how old it is? No. No. It used to be you could take them down to the Smithsonian one Saturday every month and they would help to identify it, but they probably won't date it for you. But it could be millions of years old. What do you do in your spare time? Well, I like to play video games and I like soccer. And so oh, another soccer player like Abner and video games like Emmanuel over here. Madeline, good to have you here today. Tell us about what you do in your spare time. I like to do duct tape. Yeah, now she was telling me about this. Maybe you know about this, but you take duct tape and what do you make out of it? You can make those wallets, purses, and all types of things. You can even color, cover your shoes in them yes. or make a book bag or you can really do anything with you duct really tape. You really can. I, I, I can uh, testify to that, too. If something is broken, duct tape it. And, you know, you've got it. It's fixed. What do you want to do someday? I want to be a geologist and a m marine biologist. Marine biologist. Those are wonderful professions. And uh, you have a rock collection, don't you? Yeah. And you've got a collection. Well, a fish. I'm sure you're going to get more fossils of fawn. And, Thomas, do you collect anything? Yeah, I do. I collect rocks too. I also want to be a geologist as well as an engineer. Wow. And what would you like to, what kind of engineer, like a chemical engineer, a mechanical? Te technical. Technology. Technology, yeah. Well, you know, the STEM subjects, science, mm -hmm. technology, yeah. engineering, and math, you know, they all kind of go together, which is why we have STEM fairs now instead of science fairs. What do you do in your spare time, Thomas? 
Well, I sometimes like to play with Legos and build random things when I'm bored. Yeah, that sounds like an engineer in the making to me. You're doing all the right things, Thomas. Good luck to you. Let's get back to our game. Rockledge 105, Oakland's 50. Okay, the pressure's on Oakland to get some points, right, guys? Okay, all right, we're going to see that happen. Start us out, Afon. Um, Zoo prayed for 15. Zoo prayed for 15 points. Teams, it was found out recently that crocodiles will occasionally eat a piece of fruit. Who knew? But we can still say that crocodiles are strictly carnivores, even though at times they are what kind of animal? <coughs> Afon? Omnivorous. Omnivorous. Yeah, they have a little bit of omnivory in there, too, if they're getting a pear or an apple every once in a while. Change up from that all-meat diet. Go green. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, former Dallas Cowboys star Tony Dorsett recently revealed that he is suffering from TCE, traumatic cranial encephalopathy, which means he has a disease in what organ? Rockledge. The brain? The brain, yes. Cephalo was your clue there. Cranial was your clue there. Those are things that are pointing toward the brain. Try green. Um, green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, some people say that China is a very secretive society, and they are hidden behind a curtain made of what tall, fast-growing plants that grow in China. Sometimes they can grow 35 inches in a single day, Rockledge. Bamboo. Bamboo. They're behind the bamboo curtain. That's it. Green. Go. Um, body, body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. All right, come on, Oaklands. Get ready. Get ready. Here we go. There's something now called epidermal electronics. Yes, yeah, scientists are taking transistors and they're embedding them in what body art? Rockledge? The skin? More specifically, Oakland's, what body art are they putting transistors inside of? Muscles. Um, muscles? Tattoos. Body art. You know, people drawing all over themselves. Epidermal. Epidermal was good. You picked up on the skin there, but body art, you didn't listen to that part. Try again, green. Dateline science for 15. Dateline for 15 points. All right. We were just talking about STEM, right? All right, listen to this. The first of the four sciences in STEM, science, technology, engineering, math, which one was first observed here in North America 1,400 years ago when the Peruvian Indians built their first hydraulic irrigation system? Okay, Oakland's? Science. Not science, not science. Which of those it best was represented, the first example, when they built that hydraulic irrigation system? Rockledge? Engineering. Engineering, yes. That's an engineering project. And before you yell out, Check with Abner. What do you think, Abner? What do you think, Richard? Get a consensus. Don't just blurt out an answer, okay? Because it's a team here now, Emmanuel. Try again, Green. Zoo prayed for 20. Zoo prayed for 20 points. Teams, there was a scientist called JBS Haldane, and he said, it would appear that God has a special fondness for stars and these insects, because he made 400,000 species of them, including Hercules and rhino versions of them. Beetles. Rockledge? Beetles. Beetles, yeah, the rhino beetle. Remember the rhino beetles and the Lion King and the Hercules beetles? 400,000 species, more beetles than of any other kind of insect. Go green. Um, green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, President Obama, listen to me, Emmanuel. President Obama recently said, my daughters are growing so fast, they're growing just like these unlo- Rockledge. Sunflower. Not sunflower. Okay, Oakland, this is your chance. I want to see you get this one. Listen to me. Listen to my question. Listen to my question. President Obama recently said his daughters were growing so fast, they were growing as fast as these unloved plants that grow too fast. Okay. Unloved plants. Vine. What? Vine. Not vine. Weeds. Weeds. Sometimes you're growing as fast or as tall as a weed. Try again, green. Um, let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, the symbols for men and women are also the symbols for what? Two planets that are near planet Earth. Rockledge. 
Venus and Mars. Venus and Mars. Venus for women, Mars for men. Good. Come on, guys. If you have an idea, you got to ring in. you got to try it. Go, Rockledge. Huh? Zoop prayed for five. Zoop prayed for five points. Teams, what airborne primates still scare kids and adults like me when we watch The Wizard of Oz? Rockledge. Monkeys. Yeah, those flying monkeys. I still have nightmares about those flying monkeys. They're just evil. Go, Green. Um, science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams? On Mars, there is a rover called Curiosity. It's got 17 cameras, and recently it turned the camera around and took a picture of the rover. It took a what? What did it take, a fun? Selfie, selfie. Selfie. A selfie. It took a selfie. That's right. That's the most popular word from last year in the dictionary now, a selfie. Go green. Dateline science for five. Dateline for five points. Teams, scientists have the idea that those inflatable arm, those guys that go like this on the highway, might make good scarecrows. Since it's an idea in a science experiment, that's known as a what? Rockledge? Hypothesis. Yeah, that's a hypothesis. They gotta test it out. Abner, pay attention to me, okay? Don't be looking at the cameras. Listen to what I'm saying. Go green. Um, body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, when you lose a tooth, the tooth fairy doesn't care what kind of tooth you put under your pillow. You got four different kinds of teeth. I'll give you the points if you give me two of the four kinds of teeth in your mouth. All right, Rockledge. Molars and incisors. Molars and incisors and bicuspids and canines. Those are the four. You got two of them. Yes, indeed. Good playing. Go, Rockledge. Yes, sir. Let's get physical for 20. Get physical for 20 points. Teams, the, the 12 signs of the zodiac are named for 12 separate groups of stars that have geometric shapes. Those groups of stars are known as these. All right. Did you push the buzzer? Yes. Well, it didn't happen. They pushed first. Constellations? Upon? Constellations, yeah. Each, you know, the, the Leo constellation and the Aries constellation. Okay, green again. Um, science potpourri for 20? Science potpourri for 20 points. Teams, there is a photographer called Wilson Bentley who has taken over 10,000 pictures of snowflakes. Each one is different, even though they all have what same shape. Snowflakes all have what same shape, roughly? Geometric? Be more specific. Um, they get a chance, they'll get a chance. Um, what do you think? Um, okay, Oaklands, what partial. same shape do all snowflakes have? Richard, you gonna answer? Crystals? Be more specific. Um, stars. Like, stars like... Uh, stars. Not quite. They all have six sides. They all have six sides. It's called a hexagon. A hexagon. They all have the same hexagonal shape. Okay, uh, some of the tough questions left. Go green. Rockledge? Green things for 20? Green things for 20 points. Teams, legend has it that the Aztec Indians used the sap from this traditional Christmas plant that has bracts to make dyes for fabrics and to reduce fever. What traditional Christmas plant am I talking about, Rossage? Mistletoe? Not the mistletoe, that's a good guess. The sap from this traditional Christmas plant that has bracts was used by Indians to reduce fever and to produce dyes for fabrics. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, a coniferous tree? Not a coniferous tree. It's called a poinsettia plant. Do you know what a poinsettia plant is with all the red uh, petals on? Try again, Green. Um, Dateline science for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams, back in 1945, Dr. Alexander Fleming and two of his colleagues won a Nobel Prize in what science field for discovering the antibiotic penicillin? Won a Nobel Prize in what field, Afon? Medicine. Medicine, yes, sir. Good answer. Our, oh, the buzzer has rung. That means the game is over. We didn't get to any of those really tough questions. We'll be back with a wrap-up in just a second. I knew I needed help paying for college. I've always wanted to be a teacher. I used to make worksheets for my friends to do. No one ever wanted to come over. My guidance counselor told me about federal student aid, and my mom helped me fill out the free application. I got the grants and loans that made school possible. There is a way to pay for school. You just have to find it. 
My name is Caitlin. I'm going to be a special education teacher. I'm going to live my dream. For years, scientists have explored remote corners of the Earth, searching for exotic substances that might help prevent cancer. At last, man has discovered a secret place where powerful remedies can actually be found. Medical research shows that a vegetarian diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can help prevent many types of cancer. Wherever you live, cancer prevention is as close as your grocery store. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. Welcome back to Science Bowl. Well, we had a really one-sided game here today, but the contestants on the one side were very young students, and I'm sure they're going to do much better when they come back next time. We're proud of them. We're proud of all of our players today. Our final tally is Oakland's 50, Rockledge 270. What a game you played. Afon, you are the man over there. Thomas and Madeline, you really played a super game. You were great assistance there and helping your captain and look at the alternates back there could you wave kennedy and afia and miss stimson what a debut for you what a great team here oakland's you guys only third grade boy you did well for some someone so young abner and emmanuel and richard nice to have you here mr rourke thank you for the work we'll see you next time on the science ball see you as well bye-bye now